Hey everyone, it's Aditya. Good to see you all again. Um, been a great town hall so far. Great job, everyone. Um, cool. So I'm here to talk about the CSV uh, ingestion plugin that we recently added. Um, it's actually already available in the uh, Data Hub CLI. So why would I use the CSV um, ingestion plugin? So this is really great if like you want to bulk apply things like tags, terms, and owners to um, various data assets that you have. So um, you know, if you're like, oh, I want to apply a bunch of glossary terms that are um, for like various PII things uh, across like different data sets, but like, you know, you don't want to click through each of your uh, data sets individually on the UI, you can use this, the CSV ingestion plugin to, um, you know, put in which data sets you want to apply this on and uh, which terms, and it's just easy to do that um, via like one command. Um, this is also really great because we can easily extend this to other aspects of the future. So right now we only support tags, terms, and owners, but descriptions is coming very soon in the next CLI release. Um, you know, you can imagine this is easily extendable to things like domains and like whatever um, aspects like we will add to Data Hub in the future. Um, this is also really great if like you already have some other mechanism, like maybe other tools, or like maybe you just manually keep track of things like, oh, um, on some spreadsheet, you say like, I have these owners attached to these data sets and these owners attached to these data sets. And like, you want all of that data to just be synced into your data hub instance. Um, this CSV ingestion plugin is uh, really great for um, allowing your data hub to be updated. Uh, over here, you can see like a little example of what that CSV will look like. Awesome, so let's get straight into a demo. Okay. Great. Uh, can you guys see my data hub instance over here? Yes. Okay, cool. So this is the uh, data set that I'm going to apply um, some new tags, terms, and owners to. You can see right now I don't have any owners. Um, we're missing some tags here at the entity level, and um, maybe we'll want to add some new glossary terms. And one thing that I don't know if I called it out is that um, you can uh, apply tags, terms, and uh, like all of these aspects both at um, the data asset level, so like you know uh, data sets and charts and those sorts of things, and also at the column level. Um, so let's go a little bit into like what defining that would look like. So here is what the um, the recipe looks like. So there's a couple of flags that you can put here. So um, this this should overwrite flag that allows you to decide whether you want to either append, um, you know, like uh, any meta metadata that's um, or any aspects that's defined in the CSV um, on your metadata, or whether you want to replace, um, you know, like. Uh, re replace like new owners or something, or just depend to the existing ones. Uh, you can also, depending on how your CSV is defined, put a delimiter uh, or define a delimiter and then uh, array del delimiter for array fields like tags, terms, and owners. Um, awesome. And then let's take a look at what that CSV looks like. So, okay. So right now, for just for this example, uh, I'm just doing this on one data set, sample hive data set that I just showed you, but um, you can do this on as many data sets as you want, but for the purpose of this demo, I think it's a little easier so that you can just see the changes applied on one screen. So um, we're going to add some owners here. Um, uh, I don't think there's any existing tags, and um, there's only one existing glossary term on that data set, so we're going to add another one, and we're also going to make some changes at the column level. So let's go back over here. Oh, you can see I already ran a run. But um, I'll just run. So also, I'm just using the existing like uh, sample recipe and the demo data that's already available on our GitHub repo. Great. Let's run this. Awesome. You see that it produced um, four work units. Great. Cool. So now you can see that uh, we had some new owners that were applied. Um, those tags and terms were added and yeah, your data is all in sync. Great. Let me go back here. Awesome. 
Um, so what's next for this plugin? So obviously, um, you know, as I said, like descriptions, um, ownership type domains, those are all like pretty low hanging fruit. Um, if you have any other, or so just descriptions and ownership type to be clear are gonna be available in the next Python release. Um, if you have any other ideas for how you want to extend this to other aspects that you think would be useful, like please feel free to DM me on Slack and I would love to collaborate and help you, um, you know, push any contributions uh, towards improving the plugin. Cool.